Snapshot did not even place in the top 10. Nia, boom, hip, give me something. And barking at her. Come on, you're our rock, honey. Nia was first place in her category. Yeah. We're going to Vegas, to Los Angeles, to Lake Tahoe. I'm not going to Vegas. You're quitting. Whatever. Coming up on Dance Moms. Maddie, I'm giving you the week off. Chloe, you wanted this shot, you better win. Oh. Why wouldn't you want to be like Maddie? I want to be like Maddie. Chloe is Chloe, and that is good enough. Not for you. My shoulder. If it pops out, get it back in there. I don't think I'm going to be able to dance with my shoulder pain. Everybody gets a new costume every week, and I get <laughs> Just pull the number. Paige, are you absolutely positive you want me to go pull this number? Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here to attend the Thunderstruck competition. Come on, girls. Vegas is really important because we only have two more competitions before our nationals in Tahoe. Welcome to Las Vegas! I want to reflect on star power last week. Some of you did really well. However, as a whole, not so great. I brought Brandon in. I thought that would do the trick, and the dance was a mess. The competition in Las Vegas this week is thunderstruck, and we have four days to prepare. As a group, this particular group has never not placed in the overall high scores. So you need to be flawless this week. Vivian, not here. Her mother made it quite clear she was not traveling to Las Vegas. So you know what? This poor little girl is going to suffer. Her mother didn't follow the rules. Let this be a lesson to all of you and to all of your mothers. If you don't follow the rules and you don't give me 100%, I will yank your number from the competition. She's the one that quit. She's the one that bailed. She's the one that ran back to Ohio. You know, we've been on the road. There's bonds that have been made. These people have worked under great pressure. And it's that old adage, I can talk about my moms, but don't anybody else talk about them. Next up, Mackenzie. Honey, I'm sorry you lost your duet partner. However, I want you to practice on all of your jumps and all of your tricks because next week you will definitely be competing. I don't care if I'm not dancing. I just like to hang out at the pool. Paige, your performance is good, but you're not winning and you're not placing the overalls. And I feel that you should be placing definitely in the top 10. This is your city. You have the long legs. You have the look. Yes? Because of that, Paige, you're getting a solo. Understood? Second row, Nia. Last week in Orlando, you finally won your category. I think you need to do that all the time. So I hope that your mother now trusts me and doesn't question my every move. I've had it with that. It's what you do on stage that matters. Not the choreography, not the costuming. It's you and your technique that is going to win the first place. It felt good to win, didn't it? Yes. This week, you get another solo, and I expect you to win again. Brooke. Did a great job, but you didn't make the top three. Yes, I understand the girls were a lot older, but you can't use excuses. You should blow them away. You are doing a solo, and just like Paige, this is your city. You've been talking about Cirque for years since you were a little kid. Certainly somebody from Cirque is going to be judging you here. So you need to step it up and make sure they know your name at the end of the competition. When I'm older, I want to be on a Circus LA show. It looked really fun, and they got to do all these cool, like wear these cool costumes and they got to like hang on stuff and like walk on the ceiling and do acro tricks and stuff. Now, at the top of the pyramid, Chloe. Now you're probably wondering why, because Chloe didn't dance last week. I keep hearing nobody can win because Maddie wins. Well, you know what? This is your shot. Maddie, I'm giving you the week off. No new solo. I'm really happy that Abby is not giving Maddie a solo this week. It's giving her a little break, so maybe she can swim a little or have some time. And I think it would be really nice for Chloe to be on top. I'm sick and tired of all the mothers talking about Maddie gets all the attention and Maddie gets a pretty costume and Maddie gets this and Maddie gets that. I took Maddie out of the equation. Now who are they going to blame? Chloe, you wanted this shot. Your mother, all I hear is it's Maddie, 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 Maddie. Well, you know what? This is your shot. Here we are in Las Vegas, and you better win. 
I'm so glad that Chloe's at the top of the pyramid, finally. But I know why Chloe's at the top of the pyramid, and it's to set her up to fail. Maddie, you're gonna do the group dance. You will not be performing a solo this week. Now, understand this has nothing to do with you. I want to let somebody else have a chance to win. I put Chloe on top because she had last week off. So she has no excuses. She must win. Let's talk about the group number. Where are we again? Las Vegas. Vegas is really important to us because we only have two more shots till we go to our huge nationals in Lake Tahoe. So this is a really important win. Does everyone know another name they use for the city? Brooke? Sin City. Sin City. Good job, Brooke. <laughs> That's right. The concept of this contemporary routine is Sin City. We chose a piece about seven deadly sins, but we don't have seven girls. So we went with Sinful, just to kind of get a little bit of a darker vibe to the piece. Put your bags away. Moms, go ahead. Come on. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. My kids at the bottom of the pyramid again. Oh, surprise, I'm surprise. Sorry. But you know what? <laughs> I, I, I just want to tell you something. I think that her solo was the best she's ever done any solo. Didn't you? She acted so well in this, especially in her age category. I mean, you have to do mm -hmm. she made some me kind smile. of dancing in it. That was my concern for the Laquifa dance. Was the same thing. There wasn't a lot of dancing. She up the pyramid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She did. How about the big Although, red yeah. slash over Vivi's face? <gasps> that was cruel. It is cruel. You should never put a, any mark on anybody's face. That's like putting a big bullseye. Why don't you just throw darts at it? Wait till Kathy sees that. I'm not gonna, I don't I'll think be we're ever going to see Kathy again. I think Kathy hit the road. So? No. As I was driving home from Pittsburgh, I was elated. I could not get far enough away from the Abby Lee Dance Company. I was really happy to see the Ohio sign, Ohio welcomes you. I couldn't have been happier. First of all, ladies, gentlemen, I am so happy to be back. As you know, I was splitting my time from the Abby Lee Dance Center and Candy Apples. I wanted Vivi to get a little bit more experience because she's starting to get on that brink of titles. And with me being her mom, I wanted to let her go to a dance teacher that wasn't me and wasn't Erin. And I felt that that was important. But while I was there, it was an experience of a lifetime. She is winning competitions, and I say she, I am talking about Abby Lee Miller. And I don't know how she is winning everywhere she goes because her kids have a ton of technical issues. I'm starting to feel this energy that the plan that I'm going for is what I really truly am going to do and I'm gonna put it in motion. And that is that Candy Apples Dance Center is going to meet up with the Abby Lee Dancers in Hollywood and we're gonna go head to head. There are going to be three of you that get to go to Hollywood, California. Justice. Justice, you are going to go to Hollywood. Vivi, Vivi had the inside scoop there. You are going to go to Hollywood. And our third apple, Taylor O'Lear. Taylor, you will be doing a contemporary piece and competing against one of Abby's so-called finest. Is it vengeance? I would say it's artistic vengeance because I want her to see what Vivi's capable of. Hollywood, here we come. Hollywood, here we come. I've got a plan where we can say, we came, we saw, we kicked apples. Let's go from the top with the music. Place, lift, open, back flex hard. Better, go. Push. Better. Hold, step, down. Good. Since we are here in Las Vegas, I wanted to do something about the sins. It's a very dark right. number. There's a section of the routine where each girl does their own choreography, and I assign each one of them a sin to portray. Brooke, you would be sloth. So I'm telling you right now, you have all this amazing talent, 
and you throw it away and you give it to me sloppy. None of us really knew what the seven deadly sins were, and Abby had to explain it to us. Paige, you are going to be gluttony. Is that the one that said? Gluttony? It's not, no, you're just thinking like a pig's like a glutton. The dance was called Sinful. They were all doing different parts, but I don't think they needed to be labeled. I think it was just another way for Abby to give a dig. Nia, you are going to be greed. You want it all, you want it right now, and you want it your way. Nia was assigned greedy. Mia is the antithesis of greedy. She, there's not a greedy bone in that child's body. Maddie, you are going to be wrath. What that means is you get upset. You are ragingly angry. She actually yes. handed each person their own sin so they can act that out on stage. But it was just for a dance. It's just acting. It's just a role that everyone has to play. Chloe's going to be envy. Do you know what envy is? Envy's like you wish you had what another person had, or you wish that that other person didn't have it. I knew Abby was going to assign Chloe envy. And Chloe came over to me and she said, she was upset because she said, I'm not jealous of Maddie. No, she's not jealous of Maddie. The only thing Chloe's jealous of is the fact that Abby treats Maddie like a person. Brooke, I need you to be back a little bit so that it's staggered on that. Move off stage. Mm. All right, lots of just, oh, hi. hi. Come on in, it's so hi. great to see you. Hi. Liz Lieberman is a friend of mine from way back when, and she is the epitome of a Las Vegas showgirl. This is a dear friend. This is Liz Lieberman. Say hello. Hi. Hi, all. How are you? <laughs> she is the showgirl. <laughs> yes? Aww. They design entire shows just around her. Would you like to learn a little bit about the posture and walking on the balls of your feet? Okay, Don Arden invented this walk. Learning to walk like a showgirl isn't easy as it looks. You have to have really good posture and really good focus. It's kind of like walking like a giraffe. The big neck. <laughs> now then, I have a surprise. So, okay, who wants to put some... <laughs> Ladies, I have one other surprise for you. Oh. All right, ladies, I have one other surprise for you. A real live showgirl, Katie. Oh. Oh. girls were excited to see an actual showgirl, and I think it was nice for them to see, like, this is what you're working for. This is what you can be someday. There's one thing. I was a principal in the show, and there was a caveat that I had to work topless. I think Liz didn't realize how young the kids were, because everything was going great, and then she talked about going topless, and I'm like, jeez. Not every show in Vegas, by any means, but the shows I did, we had to. If Maddie ever told me she wanted to be a topless dancer, I would totally lose it. I would lock her in her room and throw away the key. Chrissy and I hang out a lot together. Hi, I'm so sorry. Sorry, 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 I'm late. We're pretty good friends. We do things while our kids are doing things. I'm so sorry, I had to go pick up Chloe's costume. Oh, your costume's ready? I'm assuming yours isn't. Would you expect anything different? Let me see that costume. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, rub it in a little bit. Look, she's a little French-like traveler. I don't understand why everybody else has a costume, but my kids don't. I, I just don't understand why my kid never has a costume. She doesn't get the time with the choreography and stuff like that. She gets the choreography, and then no, and when she, she does get them, they don't fit, or they're not, they don't go with the dance. I don't, I don't. I'm just so tired of it. I'm sorry. I don't know. I hate Vegas. I know. We need to do something fun. We'll have to think about it and find something that All right. everybody well, could do. I think we need to go because the kids are almost done with rehearsal. Our cupcake date's over. I know. It was Here. so yummy. All right, ready, Chloe? Let's go. Bigger jump. That needs to be big. Well, Miss Abby says this week I have to win because I don't have Maddie competing against me. I guess people say she's my biggest competitor. 
Watch that arm. I put a lot of pressure on Chloe because I am sick and tired of hearing the Maddie excuse. You know what? There's a thousand Maddies out there. You can't control it. Go out there and do your best and win because you're great. Chloe has amazing opportunities. She has an amazing future ahead of her. And I know she has what it takes. When Miss Abby's tough on me, it's definitely not the greatest feeling. I am giving you this opportunity, yes? I'm sick and tired of hearing, I never win, I never win. It's not about me, it's not about me. It's about you. Yes, you have a new solo, go out there and win. She can be tough, she can be very tough. Tom Bay, part of more break, we saw it, head up! girls tonight so we decided that we're gonna go for a night out on the town and it's Vegas so we're gonna live it up. Yes! Do we all know where we're going tonight? No. I do. I'm excited. Minus five. Minus five. Minus five. Minus five. And what is it? It's like the bar is frozen. So, so when like you when your, you set your drink when down. When you put your diet coke cold. down Dr. Holly. Yeah, oh no. Cold. Dr. And Holly and Melissa are drinking. Kind of nice to go and chill. <laughs> Isn't this neat? Look at that couch. Whoa. Oh my god. The rehearsals were getting pretty intense. We were working for hours on end. So I thought we would just take a little break, and I took them next door to get ice cream. What do you think this food is for? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Are we right? Yes, we're right. We're having a treat. Yes. A treat. Cheers. <laughs> Can we get some service here? My god. So we get to minus five, and we get to try on fur hats and fur coats. It was really fun. It's an igloo. It's made out, out of ice. It's cool, literally. So I was looking around the bar, and there was this ice sculpture of boobs. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Look, I, it does look like yours. I don't know how I invited you to come over. Look, here's Melissa. <laughs> That's exactly me. She went to the pretty kitty. And you've seen me naked. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Oh, my God. I love ice cream. Give it to me. You have ice cream right there, right? There. Now listen to me. We're in Las Vegas. I want to have a good time. I do not want your mothers starting all this crap with me. It's your job. When I correct you, I'm correcting you. I am not going to deal with your mothers rolling their eyes. Sometimes Miss Abby just talks and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. Even we're out for ice cream sundays about dance. There, there's no way. They don't pay me near enough to put up with all their crap. I'm never going to make this like that. Ski. Nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm ski. Ah, it's Listen, shh, enough. The group number could win. It's contemporary. I want to see those characters come through. This number could win. We flew 3,000 miles here to Las Vegas to do this competition. This is not vacation. This is a dance competition. I don't know the last time I... Oh, that was pretty good. That was good. <laughs> Yes, you and me will always be together, together. Now remember, I want a showgirl. Introducing Paige. My dance is called Tongue Twisters, and it's an acrobatics routine. And I love the dance, and I use a chair in it. Swing your hip up there. Push it. Push, push, up, down. Tuck, jump down. The pressure is really on for the solos. These girls need to get out there, and they need to impress the judges. They should be have a 20-point spread between them and the girl behind them. That would be the goal. I think more of us have to put our foot down when Abby it, crosses that's the line. Exactly right. oh, she's crossing the line. But I mean, I don't trust her. She is not allowed to be alone with my daughter anymore. It's almost like she's afraid to talk to you. Because I'm right. So all of us moms went down to the pool and had a couple cocktails and, you know, just chilled out. And 
uh, there were men there. <laughs> what brings you guys here? Why are you in Vegas? What's going on? Dance competition Ooh, for our kids. Don't we look like it? Yeah, yeah, I grew up, uh, yeah, I did dance my whole life. We work, at, we work at Peep Show, so. Do you dance in Peep Show? Yeah. Oh. You guys should come see it. It's pretty awesome. Oh, hell no. Yeah, sorry. I'm definitely not going to go see a Peep Show in Vegas when my daughters are here with me. That would be something for like a bachelorette party. Do you believe this woman has every degree under the sun and never closed a bar until recently? I've never closed a bar. You guys are so far away. We gotta get a little closer. What degrees do you have? I have a bachelor's, a master's, and a doctorate. That's master's. what we wanted to be a plastic surgeon. She didn't mention that her doctorate is from Penn. Like the people who make the tennis balls? I bet, I bet your neck hurts. Yeah, because your brain is so big. I think it was funny that they were flirting with Holly. Dr. Holly was getting the moves put on her at the pool. OK, who, who will give me their numbers so I can call you? Drool. Where did those guys come from? Why don't they go back there? Well, I, I want some tickets to come see you guys. Maybe right. you can hook that up. Give us your number, and we'll make some bad decisions later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make some bad decisions. Go ahead, Kel. She didn't say no. She didn't say no. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies. Bye. Later, guys. Good, good night. night. Good luck. Good luck. Good Have night. a good show. Bye-bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Cheers. 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 Look at you, this Dr. should be Holly. clear. Thank you. Do you know this, Brooke? Shoulders down. Brooke's dance this week is called Metamorphosis, and I think it's perfect choice for Brooke. It, it's almost like she's coming from a baby into a young woman. Where are your legs on that? I think there. Let's just walk through it once from the top, OK? My shoulder. Again? This has happened before, yeah? Mm -hmm. We just have to get through it. If it pops out, we just need to. Get it back in there. Just, like, pop it back in. Lately, my shoulder has been hurting pretty bad when I do my handstand twist. I don't think I'm going to be able to dance with my shoulder pain just because it. I'm always putting pressure on my hands. I'm going to pull harder. I know it hurts. Not performing is not an option for me. at the top of the pyramid, kiddo. Yeah, but my sadly was saying to me, like, oh, since Maddie's not in this, you have to win, you have to win. You, have you to don't win. have to win because Maddie's not in this. You're Chloe. You're different. And there's nothing wrong with being Chloe. Chloe is amazing. Because I wouldn't trade one Chloe for 100 Maddies. This week, Abby is putting an exorbitant amount of pressure on Chloe. She's screaming at her, telling her, you're at the top of the pyramid. You better win. But I promise you, I pinky swear, I pinky swear that I will not let her continue to treat you this way, OK? All right, lock it. Love you. I love you, too. Chloe, I'll be back, OK? When Chloe told me that Abby has been screaming in her face and belittling her and talking to her the way she is, I, I will not put up with this anymore. I, I can't. I can't. It is my duty as Chloe's mother to put an end to it. OK. okay. Okay, there's someone at my door. Hang on. Okay. All right. Well, let me. There's someone at my door. Hang on. Okay. All right. Well, let me. I need to talk to you. This is rude. Again. Come on. Christy came to my hotel room unannounced, which I did not appreciate. She didn't know if I was indisposed or if I was in the shower or what. But you know her, raised in a barn, comes knocking on the door. I need to talk to you. 
And we'll talk about rude. Christy is rude, arrogant, and she's clueless. You're not paying me for this time. You owe me this time. I owe you nothing. You're incredibly you rude to my daughter. All I'm asking you for is to treat my daughter with a little bit of respect. I do every single time. When you are in the picture, your child looks at you. Because she's afraid she's like of you. You ask her a question, she goes like this. It's like she's competing with you and me, and you and me, and you and me. When she's there with me all day, she's loving at that studio. I've been doing this for 30 years. There is a great camaraderie, a wonderful, beautiful relationship between the child and I, and the mother is jealous. You have a problem with your kid. Get some help. Oh, Abby. You do. You who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I'll throw whatever the hell I want to throw. You know why? Because I am responsible for Chloe's success. She wants to be a showgirl herself. She missed her opportunity. It's Chloe's time. Let me do my job. She is a beautiful dancer. She's a great kid. But she Treat looks with like you that. with one eye, like this, scared to death to fail. Oh my god, all she does is fail. All you do is set her up to fail. You She's holding two national titles. You went you out, you went backstage before something and said, be like Maddie. Who does that to a kid? Deny it all you want. Deny it all. Why wouldn't you want to be like Maddie? I want to be like Maddie. Because Chloe doesn't need to be like Maddie. Chloe is Chloe, and that is good enough. For who? For her. Not for you. Yes, it is. Then why are you so jealous of an eight-year-old? Oh, my god. You should love her unconditionally. I do. Abby, don't you dare question my parenting. I, I, I do. The bottom line is, I would really appreciate it if you could just be a little bit kinder to my daughter. That's the bottom line. My tears aren't a sign of sadness. They're really frustration. I'm so frustrated with this woman. She will never understand my point of view because she's not a mother. So Chloe's at the top of the pyramid this week. And what are your expectations for her? I expect her to win, hands down. I expect okay. people to be talking about Chloe. Okay. People should be buzzing about her. I just want to leave kind of and move forward because we're obviously kind of stuck with each other. I agree. I, I know I agree. that you're, you've said it point blank. You don't like me. I said I can't stand you. I'm not as bitchy as I come across. I saw a more human side of Christy. She broke down a little bit. I saw her be a little bit more emotional. However, I hope I got through to her that I do have Chloe's best interest at heart. She just needs to let me do my job. The stakes are high in Vegas because we're here to attend the Thunderstruck competition, and all of the West Coast is here. The kids here are incredible. The costumes, I mean, it's Vegas. It's rhinestones and sequins and feathers. Oh, my. So Vegas is really important because we only have two more competitions before the final nationals in Lake Tahoe. Where's our costumes? Right here. Ridiculous. Those kids should have been dressed, ready to go, testing out that stage already. This is not how I do business. Why were those three other kids not over here already? I have no idea. Okay, whose costumes are whose? Vegas is really important to us because we're getting close to the end and we have to win. And we haven't won the last couple competitions and we need to reclaim some type of victory. All right, let's go. Chins up, confidence. Let's go. Before I go on stage for Sinful, I need to really get in my character, and I think we'll do really good with it. Yeah, you better have that same confidence later today. It's going to take a heck of a lot for them to pull off winning with this routine. The routine is difficult, it's contemporary, and there are incredible dancers here from the West Coast. Judges up next, please welcome to the stage for 88 Sinful. You couldn't stand her bliss. You had to do your best to destroy it. Turn it all black. You manipulated everyone and put her in a trap. Because everything she has, you want 
we did a very good job and I individually thought I really played my character and danced as best as I could. In seventh place, routine number 488, Sinful. Great job, guys. Thank you. Seventh overall high score. That's not the Abbey Lee Dance Company. We want to be, you know, at least in the top five everywhere we go. Very proud of everybody. Thank I you. thought you guys would definitely did better than seventh. Oh, you yeah. 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 I know. What were the yeah. judges yeah. thinking? Even though we didn't place as high as we thought we were, like nationals, they'll will be a different set of judges, and those judges will have different opinions, so maybe they'll like our dance better. All right, you should be proud of yourself. Since the group didn't do as well as I liked, the pressure is really on for the solos. These girls need to get out there, and they need to impress the judges. They need to take it to another level. So far around the room. One and two. Use your head. One and two. One and two. Paige hasn't even had her costume on. Yeah, I've never seen it. Neither have I, the finished product. Go, right now, hurry up. I told Kelly that Paige's costume was hanging against the wall. I had yet to pull it out of the bag. I never saw it. Paige, let's see you, babe. Oh, I knew it was going to be too big. Come here. I saw my costume. I thought it was very pretty. It's just they normally don't fit. Oh, sure. Kelly, I think we're going to need a headpiece. I wish you guys on in 15 minutes. Ooh, you have to make one. <laughs> we'll just start something. Why is it that my kid always gets the costume five minutes before I go on stage, it doesn't fit, and I have to make a headpiece? Please tell her, me why. I thought her red it's costume... Every time it's my kid, it's either Brooke or it's Paige. The actual costume's okay. That is just ugly. Does it look like 13 to no, 15 it's age? It's like Kenny, why is the clown? I'm tired of it. So Abby gives me the costume for Paige 15 minutes before she's supposed to go on stage and it doesn't fit. She looks like she has in the bottom of her pants. Everybody gets a new costume every week and I get The costume clearly was not the right costume. So instead of saying, oh my God, this is not her costume, what can she wear? It was, it's always my daughter, it's always my, again, the victim. My kid should have her own costume. I agree, I That agree. fits more than five minutes before she goes on I stage. I agree with that. I'm not letting my daughter go on stage and feel uncomfortable in a costume. We don't even have a black chair. I'm using a hotel chair, for God's sakes. But what happened? But if this was anybody else, they'd have a hot pink chair with rhinestones all over it. When she used that word, I almost fell off my chair. You can talk like that in your house, but don't talk like that around my dancers. She should have been expelled. Just pull the number. Hey, I'm going to go pull the number. I need to hear it from you. Do you really think by not getting on stage and dancing is going to make you better? every week and I get shit. Just pull the number, Paige. Oh, go put your clothes back on, please. I'm not letting my daughter go on stage and feel uncomfortable in a costume. I'm not allowing her to dance. Paige, are you absolutely positive you want me to go pull this number? Yes. Then come with me. Let's go. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I have not pulled a number in years of a child got hurt and couldn't dance and we needed to reblock it without them, I would pull a number. But just pulling a number because you have a kid and a mom that are acting like two big brats because their costume isn't right, ridiculous. If you don't want to be on stage and you're not confident, that's fine, I will pull the number. But don't think that you're going to get better sitting on your butt in the audience watching your friends. I think Paige thought Chloe's going to win, Chloe's on top of the pyramid, and I don't want to get beat by Chloe. So I'll just sit on my butt and not do my routine. That is not teaching a child anything. Every single week, my kids' costumes have either not had one, we've had to wear our old stuff. But it's never right, Kelly. It hasn't been right in 14 years. It's never right. It's every time for either my kid hey, you know or what? the other. From now on, get your own costumes made. Okay. I'll sketch it. You take them. No, you have I don't made. need you to sketch it. I'll sketch it myself. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, I'm getting it made, and I'm paying for it. I'll draw the sketch. Well, then you have to Let's have the choreographer. Fine. Fine. I don't think Kelly has the wherewithal to hire a choreographer to design a costume, to find a seamstress, and to do it all on time. She wants somebody else. 
Good riddance, she can have somebody else. Frankly, I have a lot of people that would love the attention that I shower upon Paige and Brooke. Well, from now on, I get to draw my own costumes. Oh, no. God. Have them made and pay for them and have my own choreographer. Oh, your own choreographer? Yeah. Isn't that fabulous? Maybe I'll have a good dance for once. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done talking with Abby about costumes. I don't have time. I have two daughters that I have to get ready myself. Brooke is now trying to get ready for her solo. And lately, she has been off her game because her shoulder was bothering her. She's been wobbling on tricks and falling out of things. And it's just not like Brooke. If you want to get noticed for Cirque stuff, Vegas would definitely be the place to be noticed. Just go out and show them what you can do. Brooke's dance this week is an acrobatic routine. And this is big for us because we're in Vegas, and that's the city of Circus LA. So this is the city that Brooke needs to show them what she can do. Hopefully, she pulls it off. Come okay. Do good. Keep your balance. Don't be nervous. Don't watch the people in front of you. Good luck. In this solo, I'm on my hands a lot and have a hard time putting pressure on my shoulder. It's just really sore. I was standing behind the wings, and I decided to do a handstand, and my shoulder popped out of place. Just pulling your shoulder. Oh, Brooke. And is it back in? Oh, my god. You're like an accident waiting to happen. I was just worried I wasn't going to be able to do my solo. Next, we have Brooke performing in Metamorphosis. Handstand on stage, and my shoulder popped out again. I just kept dancing. I could tell by the look on her face that she was in pain. Hey, I know. I can tell it was hurting. Was killing you. Immediately following her routine, she came right around and found me. I don't, I don't really think it's out. I think if it was out, you would be screaming in pain. I was very proud of Brooke. She's been trained for years to get out there and do what you know best. And that's what she did. I just wanted to let you know that I went and I had a talk with Miss Abby about what you told me. You're not in trouble. She's not going to yell at you. Abby is putting an exorbitant amount of pressure on a little girl. We're at the top of the pyramid. You better win no matter what. Don't worry about me, OK? You just go out there and worry about you. Right before I go on stage, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't want to forget the number or mess up something, because Miss Abby says I must win. Our final performance, test number three. Missing you. I was so proud of her in that dance. I thought she was amazing. Beautiful work. I am hoping beyond hope that Chloe kind of squeaks into the top 10. I hate to give Abby any kind of an opportunity to torture my daughter. In third place, routine number 153. Yes, A 
I'm over all the excuses. No more excuses, Christy. No more my poor Chloe. No more Abby Show's favorites. Your kid was the favorite this week. And you know what? She blew it. Vegas was a catastrophe. I gave Maddie the week off. Big mistake. Chloe's time to shine didn't even make the top 10. Brooke did something to her shoulder. Paige scratched her number. I just want to pretend Vegas never happened. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the routines. I'm disappointed in the judging. I'm disappointed in all of you. I'm done. I've had it. We're a mess. We have one more week in LA before we get to the end of the line in Tahoe. They need to get their acts together. This is not vacation. Moms, 9 AM tomorrow, I want them ready. We're going to do a legs and feet class and a ballet class and new choreography. This is my name. It's my reputation on the line. My name is not going to go down. Uh-uh. Do you understand that? All of you, step it up.